Hey folks, welcome to Padma Priya's Cuisine. If you like my videos, please like and share them and let me know your feedback in the comments. So it's Christmas season folks and wish you all a very merry Christmas. Christmas calls for some delicious goodness filled with dry fruits and nuts soaked in alcohol or orange juice. Today we are making an alcohol free and eggless fruit and nut Christmas cake. For this you need 80 grams or 1 third cup of butter or oil or half and half of both. 200 grams of brown sugar. Juice of 1 big orange and 200 grams of atta or maida. 1 4 teaspoon each of powdered cloves, nutmeg, dry ginger, cinnamon and cardamom. 1 tablespoon vinegar, 1 4 teaspoon salt and 1 teaspoon baking soda. 1 teaspoon vanilla. You need 120 grams of any nuts. I am using cashews, almonds, walnuts and pistachios, a total of 120 grams. You need 150 grams of a mixture of all dry fruits. I am using all these. You can choose according to your taste and availability. To prepare the caramel syrup, 1 fourth cup of sugar, 2 tablespoons of water and another half cup of water. It's optional but you can add a few drops of rum essence for the aroma. Now for the method, first chop all the dry fruits and nuts. Soak all the fruits and nuts in orange juice for at least 8 hours. If you are in a hurry then you can boil the fruits in water for 5 minutes and then add orange juice in the batter. But it's always better to soak the fruits and nuts in orange juice at least a day before. Now we will prepare the caramel syrup. Heat the 1 4 cup sugar and 2 tablespoons water. The sugar will first melt and then turn to a golden brown or amber color. Switch the straw off and slowly add the half cup water. It will crystallize on adding the water. So again heat it for 10 minutes on a low flame till everything melts and it starts thickening. Remove from the flame. It will come to a honey consistency on cooling. Set aside the caramel syrup for cooling. Now filter the fruits that were soaked in the orange juice. Save the juice aside to be added to the batter later. Now coat all the nuts, soaked dry fruits and the unsoaked dry fruits with a little flour. This coating with the flour will prevent the nuts from settling down to the bottom of the cake pan while baking. Start whipping the butter, oil and sugar to a fluffy consistency. Whip it continuously for 2 minutes. Then add the caramel syrup and the orange juice along with the vanilla and the rum essence if you are adding it. Scrape the sides of the mixing bowl and then mix everything really really well. Now sieve the flour along with the baking soda and baking powder and the spices into the wet ingredients. First slowly fold in the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients. Don't use the whipping machine yet as it would blow the floor all over the place. Now use the whipping machine to bring all the dry and wet ingredients together. You just need a minute for this. Do not over mix the batter. Now these are my favorites. Fold in all the fruits and nuts into the batter. Save some for garnish. Fill the batter up to 3 4th height into a prepared cake tin. Tap the tin on the counter for a few times just to remove the air bubbles. Garnish the cake with the remaining fruits and nuts. Now bake the cake in a preheated oven at 180 degrees centigrade for about 40 to 45 minutes. A dry toothpick inserted into the cake should come out clean or with little crumbs. See how gorgeous and colorful this cake looks. With so many dry fruits, nuts and spices, this is one real irresistible cake for me. Please try it out folks and let me know your feedback and please subscribe to Padma Priya's Cuisine. Bye bye.